Then out. Hi, this is the practitioner, bachelor of science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsych researcher, technical agnostic, and Fortean skeptic. Um, I got to admit, your video did seem highly interesting, particularly uh, considering that the tectonic drift there does actually seem to be quite a fair amount of matching of um, in the of um, Pacific and uh, North American coastlines. There is, um, however, one question that I do have. Uh, you said that there was a logical explanation for uh, in this video for um, or this Neil Adams did uh, for um, for why the mountain ranges like the Himalayas were still growing. Uh, but they were talking about normal and at the end they were talking about normal curvature of mild mountaining began on the India and Italy. The problem is, is that the Himalayas are up at the end of northern India. So that still doesn't explain their growing aspect. And they said there was a logical explanation for it, but they didn't give one. Now, as, uh, now what I'm wondering is, did, uh, did they give one later on in the video? And if they did, could you please present that clip? Or if not, if you have, could you please send me a message to that effect? Um, cause, uh, and also, the, uh, the idea they just simply said, hey, just a thought, um, to, uh, to suggest the idea of two ramjets uh, propelled by the Earth or what have you for that great amount of force. Uh, that was almost a horse laugh of the argument. It, it bordered on a critical thinking fallacy there. And what might have been more appropriate was to actually, um, rather than doing that, just go straight into the uh, logical alternative for why the Himalayas were growing, which um, didn't seem like there was one. It just talked about a uh, mild mountain growing on India itself after the stretching out of the coast. But the problem is that doesn't explain the Himalayan growth, which is actually back behind the coast. So um, if Neil Adams has explained that, um, courtesy of his uh, growing earth hypothesis. Um, could you provide me a link to where he has? And if so, um, great, because I would very much love to see what his explanation is. Um, thanks a bunch. Like I said, it just seems to be a bit of a hole in his theory. Um, you know, not debunking his theory outright. I'd just like to uh, hear what he had to say about that. Um, you know, like I said, I'm willing to hear the entire theory before I go into debunk phase, um, if it's necessary. So yeah. So anyway, um, like I said, do, prevent, uh, do present that logical um, explanation of how the Himalayan uh, mountains are still continuing to grow, and um, you know that'll uh, you'll definitely have me uh, more interested. Until then, um, I do have to admit that this theory of the growing Earth uh, does seem interesting, but does have a major hole in it uh, in relation to uh, how India was formed at any rate, and the same with uh, uh, Italy, uh, concerning the Alps and well, more so the Himalayas. Anyway. So um, that's just my thoughts on it. Take it for what you will. I am interested, however, in new data. So if there is an actual explanation provided, please provide me a link to said video or to wherever Neil Adams says about it. If not, um, I think that's a hole in his theory that needs some considerable work. Either way, just my thoughts. Looking forward to any new info you might happen to have. Until then, toodles.